There's a really old Victorian cheese press that I found at the farm, which is really rusty. I don't know how old it is, but I had an idea that maybe I could turn it into an apple press. So I am gonna try and use the angle grinder again with the brush kind of attachment to clean some of the rust off this. The farm was originally a dairy farm and they would have made things like cheese. The press would work by squashing, I think, the extra liquid out of cheeses. So they would wrap them up in a cheesecloth and stack them on the round base. And then I think they would squash them using the corkscrew mechanism. There's also a sort of arm on the top of it. I don't know what that was for. I don't actually eat cheese. I don't like cheese. So this was kind of weird for me. Apple presses are usually made of wood, I think because it's better that the apple juice doesn't touch metal because the acid might react with the metal. I think I can build something to adapt it into an apple press. After I'd used the angle grinder to remove all the rust, I washed down the press to get any dust off it. And then I rubbed some oil over it to seal the metal. The next day I started making the wooden part of the press. So I've really cleaned this up now completely. Um, I took all the rust off and then I put oil on the metal because that should stop it rusting again in future. So I'm going to try and put in, um, make like a wooden tray to go here and then put some wood here so that the apples are crushed between those pieces. So what I'm hoping to make is a kind of tray with a spout here so the juice will just run and come into a bucket. So I need to cut this piece down a little bit and then cut a bit of a V shape on this end.
Okay, it's looking good. The only slightly fiddly bit is gonna be, I have to cut somehow an angle so these join. Something like this. pleased with this. I think it looks good. It should work. Um, I just need to make some wooden attachment for this that will press down on the apples. Okay, it feels like it's going to rain any minute, so I'm trying to get this finished quickly. One of the things I really want to learn more about is mushrooms, fungi, um, not just to eat, I just want to know more species of mushroom. Uh, this one, this amazing like fairy mushroom, started growing here and what I thought I would do to try and learn them a bit better is pick some different types of mushroom and then draw them in a book. It's like jelly-like. Wow. What's amazing is how it's like bursting out of the moss here, like pushing, forcing its way out of this ground. It's quite scary actually how strong it must be. Wow.
loads of glass bottles that were in the barn that I need to first clean and sterilize. Then I also need something that the apple juice can pour into when it comes out of the spout. I don't think it can be metal because I think the acid in the juice will react with metal. So glass is better. This is the biggest glass thing I could find. So I'm gonna try and clean that as well. Oh. Then I also need something to smash the apples up in, into a pulp. Uh, I'm gonna try and use this big ceramic thing. Don't know what it was for originally, but that might work. And I'm gonna use a piece of wood to pound it, this. Okay, it's time to stomp the apples. So this is the stomping stick. And I'm gonna put in these windfalls that I collected first and see what happens. It works, awesome. Okay, I don't know if this is stomped enough. I think I'll have a go and see what happens. here and then fold it into a little package and then squash it with this. Okay, here goes. Ah. Okay, it seems to actually be working, which is really cool. Uh, now I need to smush some more apples up.
smells amazing actually. So to pasteurize it, I think I need to get it to between 70 and 80 degrees. So I'm just gonna see where it's at. Almost there. 